Hello YouTube, this is Unicycle Hippie doing a tabletop review of the Gerber Shard. Bear with me, it takes a little bit to focus this thing sometimes. Basically, this has, I think they advertise it as seven functions, and they're pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go ahead and run through them anyway. Small flathead screwdriver, large flathead screwdriver, pry bar, um, the notch in the middle, it's kind of sharpened a little bit. They want to tell you that that is a wire stripper. And, you know, obviously, bottle opener. And they call this the cross drive bit, but it's, uh, I know it is a Phillips screwdriver. I'm sure a lot of other people do as well. And the lanyard hole. And I figured I'd do a little demo for you guys here because I haven't seen, you know, all these things done. First thing I want to do is the Phillips head. Fits in there pretty nicely. This is a one and a quarter inch wood screw, and you can see that it has been removed from the hole. I'm not going to take the whole thing out because I am going to try to meet some time constraints here. And the second one, this one right here, is the one I'm going to be using the flat head on. You can see it's meant to be, you know, Phillips, but it has the the flats. So I figured it's as good as any to have to deal with here. It's kind of hard because of the specific type of screw that I chose here. Trying not to interfere with my camera here too much. This is also a uh, benchtop suction vise on a desk, so it's not necessarily the greatest setup. But, uh, Go ahead and take that out of there once. Show you that it is indeed working. Pop that back in there and recenter my guards uh, here. Oh, excuse me. So that was the Phillips head right here and the large flathead. Let's do a uh, you know, quick profile here. You can see it's uh, it's pretty thin. You, you could probably sharpen it a little bit more. But, uh, actually, let's see. This is a staple with uh, a piece of wire in there. I just want to show you the, uh, the wire stripper. It's going to be you know, quick and dirty. Just The wire is stripped. Right. Pull that out of there. And this is a medium duty staple. And before I do that, actually, do something here. The 
lanyard hole, contrary to what a lot of people would think, is not a completely useless feature. And what I'm about to do probably isn't, you know, the greatest prying tool. It's just a, you know, the, the handle from an exacto. But, you know, if you find yourself in a position where you need a little bit more leverage, that hole will work just fine to, you know, pop out. Pull that staple. setup but the staple is removed and sorry I'm not going to show you the uh, the bottle opener capability but once again let's just do a quick overview here this is, here let me see I can try to get you a little bit better focus here for some reason I don't think it's going to happen But it's got a little bit of uh, jimping up here, which doesn't really go. You can see that it's flat. Like, it's got the notches, but they're just kind of stamped, so it doesn't really do much. Um, it does have a titanium nitride coating, which on a lot of their knives, I didn't like that. Because it seems like it wears off pretty quickly. But, you know, with this, I've, I've done a little bit of prying. You can kind of see um, it might kind of show up here in that corner there's one spot where you can kind of see the glint right here it's kind of coming off but it's not too bad um, also this is something I haven't seen anyone do uh, I'm going to measure the thickness for you with my shitty calibers here it is one two three millimeters oh, let's see yeah, three millimeters. So, damn, it's not wanting to focus right today. Back it off all the way, see if it'll do it. Come on, you know you want to. Yeah, see, there, three millimeters. And it is two. And about two and a half. A little over two and a half inches long. Here, if I can get this to show up at all. Whatever. Again, that is the Gerber Shard. Thank you for watching my review. Have a great holiday season.